female fighter from the spotlight. It was a short jiu-jitsu match. The lady was in form and seems like she knows what she was doing. The guy, on the other hand, seemed like an average kid. At the very start of the match, he pins her down with the lock, which she never escaped. She tried everything to break the grip, but it... You can tell this This was when feminism didn't exist. This recording looks like it's from 2010, mad pixelated. It was too late. After a number of locks on her, the referee ends up the match. The referee hasn't even declared a winner, but she knows that it's already over for her. So she confronts the referee about it. The referee, without even listening to her, declares the guy the winner. At the end of the match, the guy tries to support her, but she wouldn't even look at him and walked away. Be humble in victory and gracious in defeat. I was even about to say, even though it went quick, she looked like she did all right. This next woman also failed to stay gracious in defeat. Take a look at this. Oh, here. I used to do a little bit of karate myself when I was in elementary school. And when I used to lose, I used to be tight. I used to be so angry. Here's a story about how during the weigh-ins for an army combative tournament in Iraq, an army private first class and a male captain performing the weigh-ins got into an argument. The captain told the PFC that there was a female captain in his weight class and he was sure to lose to her. The PFC humbly smiled and told the captain, you don't know me. The guy wanted to put the girl into one move that would be sure to make her tap out. However, he ended up choking her until she was unconscious. After about wow. 30 seconds into executing the chokehold, the PFC realized the female captain had passed out. Good. The way she was positioned didn't allow the referee to see the girl's face and tell that she was out before the man released the choke. However, after seeing the purple face, he put his hands over his head as the referee called for a medic. Turned out the PFC was not even level one combative certified. Still, no one knew that the guy had twice competed in the Pan American BJJ tournament. The weigh-in captain was so mad that he refused to shake the PFC's hand. Be gracious in defeat, but also don't underestimate your opponents. This is crazy. When I when I was in high school, I used to wrestle a little bit. I wrestled for a year. And in my weight class, I west I wrestled at 152. There was this big girl. She was big. And she's been wrestling for like four years. This was my first year wrestling. We were doing trainings and stuff like that. And I was put with her. And I was trying to take it easy on her. She was like, come on, don't take it easy just because I'm a girl, this, that. So I said, okay. We wrestled for real. And I, I don't I, I did like kind of like a suplex. But I didn't even know it was a suplex at the time. I just kind of did it. She complained about I hurt her ribs. I hurt this. I hurt that. I said, what the fuck? I thought you said wrestle me for real. I stopped wrestling that day. I don't want no type of lawsuit or nothing crazy like that against me for what? Buddy, get the fuck out the way, man. I'm trying to see the match. Okay? I really thought she was about to win, but she's done. She's not getting out of that. At least she was humble about it. Hey, at least she was a good sport at the end and she put up a good fight. Yeah, she nearly she had him at some point. So again, even if woman's technique is better than the man or she gets in a better position, the man can rely on his strength and power to get out of awkward situations. In general, as most people know and a lot of people don't want to accept, we're just a lot stronger. And this has been proven time and time again. For example, with the Marines, the women couldn't pass the pull-up test. Military training can be excruciating at its highest levels. Focus! But at the bare minimum, a Marine's got to be able to do free pull-ups. Well, I want to ensure that every Marine is successful at maxing out their pull-ups on their PFDs. 
cap. But more than half the female recruits couldn't do it. So the Marines are pushing back the day when it becomes mandatory. If you have a failure rate of 55% and 99% of the men are succeeding, obviously this is not going to work. Men have to do three pull-ups minimum to pass the Marines fitness test. Not a lot. It takes 20 to earn a perfect score. Women had to meet the same minimum, but only need eight pull-ups to score. I could do three pull-ups with my dick easy. Or perfect. <laughs> because so few pass, the Marines will let them choose to hang on the bar for 15 seconds and pass without doing any pull-ups. It's ridiculous and I think this comment hits a nail on the head. It says, let's make this extremely simple. The standard should be exactly the same for men and women. If you can't meet the standard, you can't serve in combat. There are other ways to serve your country. Lowering the standard for anyone is a mistake that could cost lives. And the Marines and the Army, these are extreme situations. But it's also dangerous to put a man and a woman up against each other in combat sport. Even in sparring, things can go bad. Take a look at this. Mixed sparring ends with a knockdown. This is a fun little session. Things are fast but not powerful, which is a great way to spar. The female checks a kick, and they both take a pause to acknowledge it. Really, it's the girl that's having the most success early on. Are you sure about that? However, the man throws oh. a body kick that sounded like a whip. Once again, if you felt a perfectly placed shot to the liver, you know the excruciating pain she was in. And even when it doesn't go bad, you can quite clearly see men are way stronger. And when it's not sparring and striking's involved, these are the types of things that happen. That's a gay man right there. <laughs> <laughs> So that's an MMA fighter called Fallon Fox who beat his opponent in 39 seconds. Fallon Fox was born a man. They're saying that all the tests were passed, all the tests were done so that the fight could happen officially. It doesn't take away all the bone density that... I th I thought both of them were men. ...muscle density that you've grown before that. And if you think this type of shit is fair, then you're a complete muppet. So those are all biological men. biological male has just become the first transgender person to win a world title in cycling. First transgender weightlifter winning her maiden international event as a woman. A biological male winning a gold medal in a women's event now seems a matter of when, not if. If you think this is wrong, let me know in the comments and subscribe to see more.